This last question poses mostly a wording issue, or at least a notation issue. Most students read that in 5C we're trying to create a perpendicular line from C to the segment DA. That's not what it says, and actually it would be very difficult to do that. Um, most students will produce something that will look like uh, this when they're done. And uh, after we think about it a little bit, we say, uh, that's no perpendicular. And they say, well, that's the best I could do because, you know, it was way over here. Well, that's not how we do it. It's actually uh, a perpendicular to the line DA. And that's easier because we're going to create this perpendicular. Once you get that, I think the work is fairly straightforward, but let me just, uh, you know, prep us on it here. You take your compass out, and then you just make sure that your compass will strike the line twice. And so it strikes it once and twice. And then, uh, unchanging our compass, we go down and we create uh, the uh, intersections down there at the bottom and uh, we create the X that marks the spot. Once we've done that, we are able to put in our line that goes through these two points, and we've formed the perpendicular. So just be aware that um, it, the reading of it is a line DA and not a segment DA. Um, you can find midpoints of segments, you can find perpendicular bisectors of segments, but just to form uh, the perpendicular like this, it would need to be the full line in this case. All right, good luck.